Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Fried Honey. Uh, today we're gonna make stuffed bell peppers. So we're gonna start by chopping up our onions and preparing our bell peppers. Um, the onions are going to be a part of the filling, which is gonna be ground beef, rice, red sauce, like marinara pasta sauce, and I think that's it. Well, well, you're about to say. So you want to dice up a medium yellow onion and you want to get your peppers split. Um, I actually show you two ways to split your peppers. Um, I don't really like to just lop the tops off and fill them up like a cup. I like to split them in half. You can do it however you want, um, but I show you how you can remove the stem completely when you're gutting it, or you can choose to leave the stem attached. So I demonstrate both of those, but you just want to get rid of all the ribs and seeds and clean them out so that we can get them steamed. And after we have them all prepared, we're gonna throw them in a bowl and with some water and put them in the microwave to steam them for just a bit, which is optional. It's really up to you if you do this. Now we start on our filling uh, with a bit of oil to cook our onions. Also wanna start on our rice in another pan. It's butter, water, rice, and salt. Put it over high heat till it comes to a boil. Reduce it to low, cover it, and let it simmer until the water is absorbed. Also work on the onions. Um, you just wanna cook them until they're translucent and then add your ground beef. You're gonna season everything with salt and whatever seasonings you wanna use. The seasonings I'm using are listed and also of course in the recipe on my website. Um, but after you have all the ground beef completely browned and uh, cooked through, I normally drain my ground beef, you probably have noticed, but I don't for this, I don't really find it necessary. Um, add in your marinara. I'm using about two cups of it, a pre-made sauce. My red sauce recipe is in my cookbook as seen on IG, also available on, on my website. Um, but you just wanna kinda let that cook while you wait for your rice to get ready. Once all of your moisture is absorbed, go ahead and transfer your rice to the ground beef so that you can mix it together. Um, I'm making a vegan version, not vegan, it's just vegetarian because I'm using butter and shit. I'm making a vegetarian version for my daughter who does not eat meat. Um, you can see her shells are made over there and separated from the others with foil just in case like the, the filling that includes beef kind of seeps liquid out while they're cooking. I don't want it to get on hers. Um, and yeah, I actually dropped a little bit of ground beef on top of her cheese, so had to remove that part. Luckily, it didn't um, get into her her bell pepper, but you just stuff them, cover them with cheese. I'm using mozzarella and Parmesan, a mixture. You can really use whatever you want. Um, and then I bake it at 400 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I like a firm pepper, so I don't steam them for very long, and I don't cook them until they're super soft. Actually, I did put this back in the oven for some of the people in my family who do like a really soft pepper so that they didn't have to, to chew too much, but I like, I like a little bit of resistance. Um, but this is super simple, it's easy, it's over. Um, hopefully you guys try it, and if you do, I really hope that you enjoy it. As always, like I say every time, I appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me today. I hope you have a wonderful week and thank you for watching. Bye.